Okay, reminders from last session. He said very paranoidly checking that the recording was recording, and it does seem to be yes. Cool. So, reminders from last session. The uh, companion's quest given to Revere and his sidekick. Uh, what's the Nordic word for thumbs? Thumbs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so unbelievably <laughs> disappointed in you all. <laughs> Ten seconds okay. into the recording, and ha <laughs> Revere and his companion Thooms <sighs> have been given a quest by the companions to kill uh, what is described as a large bear at Rorikstead. Uh, the cat gang, Sans Jomo, is uh, currently holding a kidnapped Lorinia Tullius captive. Uh, without the aid of fingers or thumbs. Uh, there are 21 portions of loose trail rations at the suspect encampment. They were in a handy-dandy sack, but Catlock tore it open in a fit of no thumbs. Um, God, I'm actually just really glad that we don't have both Dio and Thooms in the same game, because they'd get their names confused. Uh, and... Team Nord is currently investigating uh, potential storm cloaks in White Run. We have Yunbrick and at the yeah Yunbrick is slurped for the whole session, and Arnolf is just currently able, so he is slurped in favor of Thooms. Uh, I don't think Arnolf was particularly bringing anything to the table that was plot critical. Say that again. <laughs> so so Thooms's sole job is pretty much to be a, a, a talking NPC for you. He's basically just a follower. A carrier, Excellent. if you will. Perhaps of bones and scales and other assorted misc items. Cool. Where did we actually leave off with Team Nord? You all were wandering around Whiterun, right? Um, I, I don't know whether we were still in the Cloud District. You were there um, often. <laughs> you were doing the whole... um talk with the companions. They gave you the quest. I think that was it, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. no. Because they talked to the crazy guy who goes on about the cloud district, and I think he suggested somewhere else to go to look for storm folks or something. Yes, you're oh, right. Yeah. I think he might have said actually just going around the normal town area instead of the cloud district. One or okay. indeed some of us probably should have listened to the last recording, and that means I really should have uploaded it. But, uh... I think we were meant to look for some... I can't remember the name of the oh, family. Oh, yeah, there was Storm. a specific family. Oh, yes. Yeah, the, it was um... in the Cloud District still, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, they're the... Uh, what are they? Uh, fuck. Um, we didn't put it in the reminders, it was, damn it. It was... <laughs> yeah, it was... <laughs> This is the why we need the system. It was either the Battleborns or the Greymanes. It's one of the... Greymanes. It's Greymanes. Right. Yeah. So I think you're going to see the Greymanes. We I'm might have already tried it and been told we need an appointment, but I can't remember. Alright, so. well... Well, I... I... Aha! Aha! Thooms is gone! <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, no. No, no, I think he's, he's listening in. Thooms is back! Uh, <laughs> Thooms is a ghost. Post your... <laughs> Do you want to be present, Benji, or otherwise we're slopping you out and replacing you with uh, an NPC. Better, Ben. Who is the Nordic equivalent of, of Dio, which is apparently, instead of thumbs, it's thumbs. And <laughs> I regret ever running any campaign for any of you. <laughs> this is going to be great on the recording, by the way. What, just us all waiting patiently Wait for, for Benji to type? <laughs> Uh, include them as subtitles just type out every time that Ben <laughs> types anything I mean if I had a little bit more prep I technically could include the discord feed but like a, a lot of the time that's that's people completely unconnected talking about uh, weird shit <laughs> it's fine plus no one watches these but us anyway and even we don't watch them because I don't upload them uh, my boss is uh, oh, intending on watching them <laughs> just have a binge <laughs> Netflix binge that's his plan. Fair. Uh, well, hello to Callum's boss. Thank you for the promotion. Uh, do not appoint him as spy master. I don't actually know if that was a yes or no, Benji. Uh, do, you, do you want us to slurp you or not? 
Well, he said, I'm indeed listening in, is his first bit. Okay, well, you know what? We'll assume that he's slaughtered unless he confirms otherwise. So, yeah, Thooms continues to live. Uh, cool. So, you're wandering around the Cloud District then, uh, Revere, with your trusty sidekick, Thooms, who's. Do you want to give us a speedy description of Thooms? Just a couple of sentences? Uh, he's got a lazy eye. He's uh, had half his hair burned off. <laughs> he's. Uh, I, I don't know. He, he, can, he can bend his fingers and comfortably far back. <laughs> What race is he? <laughs> oh, he's a Nord. He's a Nord. Oh, he's, he's, he's a Nord. Okay. He's a, he's a lovely, Nord. lovely Nord. He's he's a, he's he's about half an inch taller than Arnolf. <laughs> I see. And he has a fetching Colovian hat. <laughs> sure. Okay, so that's that's your uh, your man there, Thooms, who. We'll need a voice, I guess, that is distinctive. <laughs> I'm at a loss. Give, give him your best Somerset accent. Somerset? Well, all right, so West Country, but with more Zs. West Country, but... I've always considered West Somerset to have more of a elongate the vowels rather than the R's. All right, dial down the R's, dial up the vowels. Okay. This might take me a bit. I'm crossing enemy lines. Somerset? Worst county. Summer stat. But you claiming session attendance, I believe. <laughs> my my lore I can't <laughs> my, <laughs> We've broken him. My lord my lord my my t- t- Alright. <laughs> he now he now has a vocal tick as well. <laughs> My Lord Revere. <laughs> Scream. My Lord Revere. Where go we? <laughs> Says Thooms, somewhat awkwardly, his single working eye spinning round and round in its socket. Very good question, Thoom. Uh, sorry, Thooms. Should wants- we go and ask just a, uh, a couple of shopkeeps or a couple of store keeps by the Grey Mains? He nods enthusiastically. <laughs> Not wishing to speak at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> or ever again. <laughs> <laughs> and from that day forward, Thooms was struck dumb. <laughs> it's just a grey beard with a concussion. I believe Benji is now attending session via Roll20 chair. Uh, uh, oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, Thooms. Thankfully, pops out of existence with a slop <laughs> sound, only to be replaced by the spectre of Arnulf. Oh, well, the physical form of Arnulf, rather. Now in glorious teletext. <laughs> Can you read whatever he puts in the speech marks with that accent, though, you? I'll, I'll read whatever he puts in speech marks, <laughs> but I, <laughs> I can't do this goddamn Somerset accent. <laughs> ben, Benji, what accent do you want to have that isn't Somerset? Dorset. Somerset. Dorset. Somerset. So I'm just going to sound like I don't exist. Somerset. I can't do Welsh accent. I actually can't do any accents. I don't know why I asked him. Unless he I could do it in a horrendous Somerset accent. Cornish. 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 All right, so it's just West Country, but filled with malice at life. Yeah, and crumbs. <laughs> Clotted cream. <laughs> they call him Crumbs the Lord. Crumbs the Lord. I can't do a northern accent. I really shouldn't have offered. Uh... <laughs> right. Your only caveat. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You're getting, in the interests of maintaining diegetic characters, you're getting the heretic from Dawn of War 1. <laughs> <laughs> Am I bloody invisible here? <laughs> <laughs> My immersion! That's exactly how Benji portrays Arnold. I'm just imagining him as a scamp now. <laughs> That's a really good point. Why the fuck didn't I just give you a scamp? <laughs> <laughs> Who'd want a scamp? Uh, they cool. smell bad. So the two of you uh, go wandering off towards some, some shops. Uh, let's have a, a little roll from Revere, I guess. Or Arnold, actually, either way. Uh, what do we want? Is there an inquiry equivalent in this system? Uh, it's not really. I don't think so. Um, Let's investigate. 
No, that sounds reasonable. Uh, I'll take I'll take investigator at a plus thirty. Uh, what's that over? It goes Wait. over int or perception. Uh, I mean, you can probably do it over personality here. Ah, uh, yes, uh, you are Benji. Perception. Personality, or is that fellowship? For oh, God damn it, personality. Okay, yeah. If I roll over personality, <laughs> hey. two degrees of success. Cool. Yeah, no, you uh, you leave the cloud district, uh, march down into the plains uh, plains district, uh, and, and just sort of traipse past a couple of stalls, uh, stop, eye the items a little bit, ask a couple of fairly light questions about uh, the Grey Mains and who might they be. Uh, and it's actually pretty commonly available information, so it's not too difficult to uh, to find out whatever you may want. Uh, two degrees of success, you get two questions. It's also pretty easy, so you'll get a fair amount of information for each. What would you like to ask? Have you heard of the Grey Mains? Yes, in fact... Everyone you talk to has heard of the Grey Mains. They're one of the most famous families in Whiterun. They and the Battleborn have been here reputedly since the uh, uh, town first uh, was first established several eras ago. Oh, quite the um... hmm. Now, how do I fit in a? Ah, oh, let's just go straight out for us. Let's uh. Let's say, have we... Have you met any Stormcloaks recently? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I word this in? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, you're oh, all playing an untrained investigate, aren't you? <laughs> no, that's, that's fair. Uh, people people kind of clam up at that. Uh, it, it, no one's willing to say... Well, not many people are willing to say yes. A few enthusiastically say yes, of course. They're proud uh, affiliates of the, the Stormcloak movement. Um, though you know many people don't necessarily say rebellion. Sorry. Quite the pedigree on this lot, then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm off bird. <laughs> Yes, Arnold is a parrot for the. Oh, my parrot beast men. <laughs> I probably should have asked actually where they are. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So the the people talking about stormcloaks are more saying like, yes, no, of course, all right, my whole family, we're big stormcloak affiliates, which tends to cause at least minor arguments, which often have to be broken up by the guards. More than a few people bristle and reply, no, yeah, we're proud citizens of the empire, not stormcloak rebel traitors. Um, well, I think tra- traitors is quite a it's quite a strong word, actually. God damn it. I I prefer to think that more as as heroes, personally. All right, Benji's fucking with me now. Yeah, <laughs> love. Best to find where the buggers love. <laughs> where they love? Where they love? I, I'm just reading the words verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't write the text. Other than at the job, I. <laughs> oh, sorry. Where? Where the fuck is leave? <laughs> Glad my arm movements aren't appearing on webcam. Uh, well, aren't appearing on video rather. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's that's not only really left you much better than you were before, Revere. What? Uh, what do? Uh... I mean, I, su- I suppose I can just start knocking on doors, to be honest. Well, one man's hero is another man's traitor, Ravine. Ah. Yes. Uh, strange, distracting bird nord. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go. Uh... Oh, actually, no, let's go back to the inn. Let's go uh, ask about that. Yeah, that was uh, with... God, her name wasn't Helga, was it? One second. The Bannered Mare. As you enter the inn, everyone's eyes roll over white and they begin, uh, begin vomiting ectoplasm as their internal UESP wikis update. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Why is you being saw this mod? <laughs> loading, vomiting, loading, vomiting. 
Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> Rather than tea poses. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Missing white noise. Yeah, no, uh, everyone stops vomiting. Holdo is uh, behind the uh, behind the counter, polishing a mug. He gives you a cheery wave as you waltz on in. What can I do for you, my lovers? Say, Holdo, um, you don't suppose you've heard of these here grey manes, have you? Chuckles a little bit. Of course I've heard of them, my love. They're, uh, they're one of the oldest families in Whiterun. Them and the Battleborns. Really? And you wouldn't suppose, you know, where, say, they they live, exactly? Aye, up in the Cloud District at uh, Greymane Manor, I believe. <laughs> Shit, who just come from there? <laughs> Her eyes go wide. Really? You got into the Cloud District? Do you get up there often? <laughs> we... As a matter of fact, I keep getting asked this. I see you've run into Nazim. Yeah, he he seemed a little sad and lonely. He's a local simpleton. Hasn't quite been the same since his wife died. Oh, that's that's sad to hear. Did she get to the Cloud District often? No, no. She uh, she died in a great tragedy uh, some years ago. There was a carriage accident in Helgen. Worst thing to ever happen to the town, as I understand it. Yeah, yeah, as I understand it too. Don't suppose you've got any family in Helgen? From behind you. <laughs> Worst thing to keep hearing man has grey beards. Still a bloody silly name if you ask me. Followed by, did she die kicking him in the head? No, I, I don't have any family in uh, in Helgen. Uh, I've... Uh, I've got some mild business interests, I believe, some shares in some of the local shops, but it's it's just a few pension funds, nothing really major. <laughs> but you know what they say, ah. your money's always safe in Helgen. Yeah, they, they do say that, don't they? It's why the Bank of Skyrim keeps coin. its reserves there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it really? Huh. Hmm. She uh, she turns suspect to look at Arnulf as he pipes up with... God, I suppose it's slightly out of time now. Ah, mental, less mental so note. nowadays! <laughs> I just had a thought. Mental note. Short the set him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be rich! Economy in my good eight divine Zelda scrolls. <laughs> Uh, sorry, nine divines. Forgot who I was talking to. Uh, yeah, she she sort of eyes you curiously, Arnold. Uh, what do you mean? Scratches her chin. No, I don't think I've looked south in a few years. To be honest, there's not much down there. I mean, I know my door faces that way, but I always make a point of looking west. Much better, more Nordic direction. Not as Nordic as north, of course, but not as bad as south. Sorry, I forgot to do the lines. Yeah, depends on how often you look south. Followed by, you're more right than you know with that first thing. Do tell me if it's getting too irritating. <laughs> more one worried about the impending aneurysm. <laughs> you won't be able to tell. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing the Dawn of War 1 heretic, and... He had this weird arm motion animation where he just kind of moved like this constantly, like he was trying to pray, but his bones didn't work correctly. It may be what was happening. Um, and I got to doing this as an impression for an NPC in Black Crusade, and, and now I can't do the voice without doing the arm motions. It just doesn't feel right. Uh, so don't worry about the animals. Yeah, she, she blinks. You know, I, I'm... I'm sure you're all overestimating things. It's Helgen's a perfectly lovely, safe town. It's a, a popular holiday resort. Nothing's happening to Helgen. Uh, can I can I help you with anything else? Um, no, we can no. tell General Tully is his niece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it, get it in exchange for some stocks. Uh. <laughs> That'd be booming. <laughs> Literally. Just don't invest in Helgen. Why wouldn't you invest in Helgen? 
the safest place around. The, the ancient Skyrim saying is your money's always safe in Helgen. I guess that's about to be wrong. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, I thought Arnoff was going to do something there. Everyone flinches as the <laughs> roll 20 chat just moves down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so so what's up? What do you need from Hulda? Uh, do you think they any chance they to uh, arrange any sort of meeting? You know, they, are, they, are they likely to, to speak to one such as us? <coughs> she scratches her chin a little bit. Well, um, they don't know, to be honest, really. They're usually quite a stuck-up lot. But, uh, of course, nowadays with them being in the feud with the Battle Bones... The battle bands, battle warrens, battle of the bands, the the battle of the bastard borns. <clears throat> uh, it's it's anyone's guess, really. Everyone in the inn goes quiet as Arnold speaks. What is he saying? I don't know. He's typing. He, he keeps typing and stopping, and I, I I keep waiting on him. I thought it would be very rude if I'm carrying the conversation, but at the same time. Nope. He's off again. It's like, ah! <gasps> 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 <laughs> 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 All right then. Uh, I'll be struggling. I've, I've half the mobile keyboard. <laughs> I've half forgotten why we're actually searching for the um, the grey mains. This is to join the uh, stormcloaks, isn't it? Uh, well, you want to join the stormcloaks. Arnulf just wanted to find someone who you could sell Tullius's captured niece to in order ah, to raise excellent. funds for a variety think, of reasons. Yeah, so I remember oh, that. Oh, the plan is also to potentially get in with the stormcloaks so they can help us get into solitude, solitude to break our cart out. Excellent. Getting into Good solitude plan. isn't a huge problem. The city isn't under lockdown. The problem is that your cart is in Castle Dower, which is the seat of the Imperial Legion in Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. So we need the Stormcloaks to come wind them up, and then we can just nip in, get our cart back, job done. So we need to go back to the Cloud Districts. <laughs> I love it. We were staging a fucking siege with the Stormcloaks just to get a cart back. It's a radical pitch. <laughs> uh, she she sort of... Hulda continues to polish the mug in her grip. Oh, all right then. Um, lovely seeing you, I suppose. Oh, one more, one more question, Hilda. Aye. These uh, battleborns, these uh, empire-loving imperial battleborns. She, she, uh, you met a fix on the floor. Uh, yes. Who is the least liked member in town? <laughs> oh no. Her eyes roll over backwards as. She uh, vomits ectoplasm all over you, and oh, it's like um, consults her mental Rolodex. Consults her mental Rolodex. You know what? Here's how it goes. She stops vomiting. <laughs> Where's that standing? I think that would probably be young Lars. Yar Lars Battleborn, irritating child, and something of a thief. You don't say. Hmm. I've had to chase him out of here with a broom a few times. Little sod thinks that because he's from a famous family, he can do what he likes. Ah, with a truly stupid name. What's uh? What, what's Lars look like? Oh, he's about yay high, slightly shorter than the counter she stood behind. Uh, reddy brown hair, wears a fairly rich tunic. And he's got a face perpetually scrunched up like a lemon. Ah, excellent. Good to know, good to know. Well, what have we seen? You? Her eyebrows raise, but she knows better than to ask people's business. And uh, gives you a cheery wave as you head out of the pub. Meanwhile, at the Khajiit encampment... Yeah. Uh, I think you spent the night uh, on top of... What's her name? President. Yeah, Lorena, uh, Lorenia Tullius. Yes, hopefully she hasn't died. Sorry? Hopefully she hasn't died. Uh, you did take great pains to say that you were deliberately uh, not crushing her. Yes, I did. 
Yeah, what do? Uh, Jomo went out to wash some kind of substance off of himself yesterday evening, uh, but he's he's not returned. Zanzarim Zahir is upset with the lack of attendance from Jomo. <laughs> oh no. Zanzarim Zahir shall seek him. Stay here, with the President. Um, uh, I'm presuming I'm much further than 300 meters. You are a bit. Very well, my lord. Okay. So, investigation might be a little bit easier than uh, you might at first assume, Zanzibin. As Jomo just went to the, the nearest stream, and that was visible from the mound that you're currently stood on. It's a fairly straight path, and as you wander in the direction, you you, uh, approach a little copse, a sort of small thicket of trees. Everything everything seems quite still in the surrounding landscape. You can scent no blood, see no major issue. Until you hear from just the other side of the copse. Uh, Not exactly an ear-splitting trumpet, but a fairly... Sedate but mighty noise, if it makes sense. Right. Jump up a tree, see if I can look where it came. Yeah, alright. You uh, pull your tiny cat form up a, uh, one of the trees, and it's actually not too difficult to see where the noise came from. So you come to the top and can see round the cops now, which was otherwise obscuring your view. There's uh, a Comically oversized encampment on the other side, uh, with one large tent having a pair of huge feet sticking out, and a woolly mammoth is uh, sat swatting at its child with its trunk. In a cage, hanging from a rather tall tree stump, <laughs> in the very middle of the camp, is Jomo. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> he looks mostly not much worse for wear. The main difference is that someone seems to have fastened uh, a fairly chunky leather belt around his neck, on which is a <laughs> colossal cowbell. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I would like to get within 300 meters. What do I know of giant religion? Uh, I don't think anything. I think it's a bit of a mystery. Uh, you are within 300 meters. You're maybe within 30, 40. Do they have a god? Uh, it's vaguely assumed that they probably do. They do a lot of religious behavior, but uh, they're quite insular, so no one really knows. All right. Or shall. This is the divine voice of ancestor to all giants. We demand you let loose that prisoner immediately. For you have caused great shame to us. Jomo, you recognize the signature accent of Zanzarim Zahir in your brain. (laughs) Your four giant captors jerk to their feet, one of them coming flying out of his tent, hauling up a club and scanning around for the source of the noise. They seem more than a little bit panicked, Casting their eyes this way and that, and low rumbling bellows emit from their throats. Do giants even understand this language? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> they uh, they seem pretty freaked out, but they're not moving to run away. <laughs> Jomo, is there anything you'd like to do in this context? Uh, are you paying attention to uh, the youngest giant who just barely comes up to above your cage line is paying attention to you oh I'm in a cage yes <laughs> you're in a if you imagine like a, a crude wooden bird cage situation made out of sticks and such um, except it's man sized and can hold uh, yourself is he he's shackled he's not shackled other than the the uh, bell around his neck and some light bruises on his back where he was vigorously petted yesterday. He is entirely unrestrained. 
Could, could I just start like being all cute and meow and just start scratching at the door? She comes right up to you, her beard poking through the the uh, prongs of the uh, the prongs, the bars of your cage, and begins. My voice doesn't go deep enough, but she begins doing a sort of a low rumbling hum. Uh, it. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to work out that she's trying to reassure you and, and calm you down. I'm not just start shouting again. Free the prisoner at once, for your ancestors are displeased. The uh, elder giants freak out once more. Their slight calming coming to a jolting halt as they rush around the camp, grabbing the things that are most important to them, scooping stuff up and placing them in canvas bags the size of cows, and indeed one which does appear to be a hollowed-out cow. Uh, The second largest giant is trying to rapidly saddle up the mammoth, and the child is unhooking the cage which contains uh, Jomo (laughs) from the tree that it was perched on, and clutching it tightly to her muscly chest. Claw in the chest. <laughs> Jesus. She's a child. All right, yeah, roll strength. That's a fail of three degrees. Any lucky numbers? Oh. Yeah, she, she doesn't even really notice. Your claws, sharp as they are, get stuck in her heavily matted chest hair. Um... I just do like the pummel paw. <laughs> she she actually, if anything, seems to take it as affectionate. Yeah. Swings <laughs> roundabouts, I suppose. Uh, I would like to paralyze it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get within fifty meters to cast the spell. <laughs> I'm not already. Uh, we can say you're within fifty meters, sure. It's not that big a cops. <laughs> Just charge out and goes. <laughs> <laughs> Falls forward, crushes and kills him immediately. Uh, what's the page for paralysis? Uh, let's see. I should probably get a book of creatures. One four four. One four four. An affected target must make a willpower test. Oh dear. And it's um, minus zero, casting it's spell level three. Minus ten times or paralyzed for a single round. Okay. Uh, cool. Roll away. I will see if I can get the the giant stats up. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, that'll be a pass. Not a lucky number. Nope. I won't complain about the pass. That's very good. That is not a pass on her behalf. Yeah, you you uh, flit forwards just a little bit from treetop to treetop. And then taking careful aim from the very top of a particularly pointy pine swaying in the early morning breeze, you... Uh, Raise a single paw, make sudden, swift motions, invoking the uh, the paths of magic. That's the thing. Yes, schools of magic. There we go. Uh, and uh, a tiny green ball pff, emits from betwixt your tiny beans. And oh, the little jelly bean toes. As the and as the the giant's child is trying to comfort her new pet, she's hit in the back. By the little green ball flying out at the the same rate that a flung rock might fly out. She <gasps> teeters. Carl, give me a luck roll. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> Three, de- uh, sorry, two degrees of success. For a moment, it looks like she's going to collapse forwards directly onto Jomo, but no. She falls over backwards, 
The cage clutched so tightly, flying straight off of her belly, whacking her in the, off of her belly, out of her arms, over her belly, whacking her in the chin uh, as it goes, uh, and directly into a tree. The fairly crude construction shatters on impact, leaving a hole, a gap, if you will, in the very top of the cage through which Jomo can escape. The two uh, giant parents have rushed to see what is wrong with their child, leaving uh, one younger but not adult giant still desperately trying to gather up the camp. Or shout, Flee now or face our wrath! <laughs> the, uh, the giants continue to run around in a bit of a panic. J- Jobo, what do you... Um, I'm going to leg it in the direction of Zanzarim whilst using the power of thumbs to undo the collar. <laughs> Uh, I look on in awe. I, I think <laughs> they call them thooms here. <laughs> ah, yes, the power of thooms. Wait, isn't that something else up here? So, you know, <laughs> let me just quickly... All right, the wanker's corner. He goes. <laughs> Scree. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Jomo crawls out of the cage and rushing off into the cops. Uh, I don't think you saw exactly where Zanzarim was, but you know him well enough to be able to pinpoint broadly the direction the telepathy is coming from. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you rush off through the cops, off into the forest, uh, trying to undo the giant's crude but tight and powerful knots as you go. Uh, I'll take... Do we have athletics? We do. Uh, I'll take uh, athletics over endurance, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I jump on Jomo's back. Uh, you might want to rethink that. Um, well, you that ro- is the degree of two degrees of failure, even with the minus ten. Well, I'm rolling on a thirteen. <laughs> so Zanzarim, you uh, you rapidly climb down the tree you're on, and as Jomo flees past you, jump onto his back. For a moment he flails in confusion and anger (laughs) until he feels the signature tiny claws dig in and realizes that this is not the mythical northern drop bear and is simply simply his priest and master, or priest and friend, I guess. Uh, The mythical drop priest! (laughs) Yeah, and, uh, and uh, a rush on, uh, rushing on you go. Behind you, you hear a, a bellow of rage and feel, uh, I hate to say it, but what can only be described as Jurassic Park T-Rex feet stomps chasing you. Oh, no. Let's, let's skip over to Cat Clock for a second. Cat Clock. Hi. It's a bar, by the way. Let's say, uh... <laughs> I don't think any character has actually called you Dobin Bar. Uh, they have. Who? Uh, I believe that uh, Jomo has. Yeah, I've done it at least once, maybe oh, twice. Okay. okay. So Jomo thinks you Dobin Bar. Everyone else thinks you Cat Clock. Big love, then, it's big love. Uh, yes, so <laughs> you, you've been quietly waiting for. Zanzarim to get back, hopefully with Jomo in, in tail, and we'll say it about the edge of the encampment. You've maybe been scanning the uh, uh, horizon, looking for people coming, Imperial reinforcements, uh, the rest of those Nords you seem to have teamed up with, potentially weighing up the relative merits of just eating the prisoner here and now. How would anyone know? <laughs> true, true. When you turn your gaze towards the river, the direction that Zanzarim, or the nearby stream rather, the direction that Zanzarim had gone off wandering in. As you look, you see Jomo running at full speed, with Zanzarim's tiny cat head peeking over his back, claws full on <laughs> digging into him, and behind them, an adult giant waggling its club in the air, rushing after them, in one hand carrying what appears to be a large discarded belt with a cowbell on it. Um, is our prisoner still asleep? She still seems to be passed out. Uh, with my two of my paws uh, on her shoulder and hips, stand up and then just place her in my mouth once more. (laughs) 
Yeah, full Sorry. discretion, uh, full discretion, full information. If you're intending on moving at speed with her in your mouth, I think there's a decent chance you will maim her. So as don't kill her, it's fine. Maiming is fine. Killing is not. <laughs> it is oh, God. And also, maiming doesn't necessarily not lead to killing, for the record. <laughs> we can stop the bleeding, it's fine. Uh, not necessarily. I don't think we have any healers. It's either lose her now, or try to run away with her, so... Just just stay put. I'm sure everything will work itself out. Alright then, uh, Catclot, what are we doing? Uh, I'll be uh, placing uh, the prisoner in my mouth. (laughs) And getting ready to run. (laughs) Okay. Uh, You, uh, uh... Sorry, what was the grip you were using again? Grip. Yeah, how did you have her in your mouth? Just my internal. Uh, so, oh, uh, so I was thinking uh, basically her stomach uh, in between mm-hmm. my jaws, basically. Okay. So you, you pick her up and tense and get ready to run. Her eyes fly open and she jabs a thumb right in your eye. Then growl and bite down slightly harder. <laughs> She pushes her thumb into your eye. You feel something go a little bit pop. Ow! I bite harder. (laughs) I I raise a paw, pull out the claws, and just... On her face. I'm not scratching, scratching, but I'm like... It's like, you do anything else, I'm going to fucking claw your face off. My ancestors are smiling at me, cat. Can you say the same? (laughs) Pour her arm down the claws. I'll take the post strength test. Okay, she can fucking fucking bring it. Uh, what's your DOS there? Uh, just straight strength, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, that will be four degrees. Oh, oh dear. Don't, don't you dare do! Don't you do do, do a first session! Don't you fucking dare! I don't know what you mean, Lemmicus. I'm not tearing her arm off, I'm not tearing her head off, I'm not chopping her in half. So, if the noise wasn't chomp, you'd be okay with it? Is that what I'm hearing? No! A shunk. <laughs> yes. With a sound of... <laughs> no. Uh... Your arm flies up and, with a fairly hefty amount of force, whacks hers. You feel it pull out of the socket, though vision seems to return swimmingly at best. Uh, you hear something snap, and Lorenia screams. She doesn't go limp, but her struggling in your jaws is limited. If she dies, I can just eat her to get rid of the evidence. It's fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> we want her alive. No, I'm trying my best. <laughs> She's in your mouth. <laughs> you could have just stayed quiet. The giant probably doesn't know you're there. I'm pretty sure you're in a tent. It's chasing after you. I've got to come after you. I can't stay sat down and let you just be chased by a giant. So, uh, we'll figure something out. So, Jomo, you're rushing back to the camp. You can hear the giant behind you, you've got Zanzarim on your shoulder, and you can see what looks to be at the very edge of the camp, around the, the sort of ring of stones, um, what looks to be Catclop, with the prisoner in his mouth. She's flailing, and he's thwacking at her. What do you do? <laughs> Um, I think considering um, the giant on our tails, uh, we're probably just going to go with polar bear rules here. <laughs> <laughs> polar bear rules? I I missed something. I think the horse might win that. You, yeah, I do think the horse is likely to win, but I admire your gumption for betrayal. <laughs> I mean... Oh, I see! I, I can do another paralyze, but they cost 28 mana a pop, and I don't get mana Ooh. back easy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's just sleep. Uh, I don't get it. Sleeping either, I don't think. No, you need to absorb it from others. 
Because I'm a... Uh, He's an Atronaut. Yeah. I can also get it from potions. Ah. But, uh, it also actually only paralyzes for about a round. Yeah. Can we it's... funnel stuff into you by, like, casting spells and you take the magic off of us? Yeah, if you cast a target spell at me that doesn't do any damage, theoretically I can steal your mana 50% of the time that way. I mean, yeah, I've got the jump spell. I can just cast that at you. <laughs> That's the point. Um... <laughs> we, we cast a 100 points jump spell on a house cat. That's right. It's a social <laughs> experiment. <laughs> I've got jump, water walk, comedian, and water breeding. They're all single targets that do no damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure rules is written. Any spell has a 50% chance of not getting cast on me, and if it doesn't, I get its mana, so... There you go. Yeah, I think that's even damage spells, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, because, like, it's half the All reason spells. you would play Agenog is to just intermittently, uh, haha, no yeah. to mages. I've got several layers of defense for magic. I've got a minus 20 to be hit, because I'm a cat. I dodge on like a 40 and sort of got Atronaut for a 50 50. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. Uh, do you get, um, sorry, do you get Magicka back after sleeping? No. No, I don't. Yeah. But if someone could kill it in a single round after I paralyzed it, that could work. Well, anyone could, I guess I could, possibly. The, the giant. Yeah, it might be very oh, I mean, hard. It's a giant as well. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're still only like a large house cat size to it. Like, if yeah. I calm him, he will lose the will to fight for a minute, which costs less mana, but we'll just have a calm giant around for a minute. It's easier to run away from a calmed giant than an enraged, <laughs> an enraged one. Well, he was just having a nap, but someone uh, paralyzed his child and then the pet escaped. Yeah. It's a whole thing. Well, you know, Tell you what, I'll calm him and then we'll figure out what to do from there. Okay. <laughs> I turn the top to the back of Jomo. I put my paws up. All right. As as Jomo belts it full pelt for uh, for Catlock, fully intending to rush past him, knowing that he has to transport a delicate prisoner and uh, cannot simply eat her with perhaps an unfair amount of trust. Or rather, overly fair. Uh, cool. Declare spell level and cast. Three. Oh, is that a lucky number? No, 77's a lucky number. Okay. Uh, I'm going to luck reroll. Fair, fair. Oh. 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 Hmm, so. can we re-roll multiple times? Nah, afraid not. Oh. You're not technically allowed to in Dark Heresy either, or we just house ruled that since forever, so... Uh, you, sure. you can burn luck to use it multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll leave that there. I think it's admirable that you're willing to put yourself at risk to save these other people anyway. So, meanwhile, back at Team Nord, as Team Cat races towards certain doom. Uh, Revere, what are we, and to a lesser extent, Arnold, what are we doing? Where are we going? Well, we're going to try and get back into the Cloud District, of course. You actually have a, a standing uh, set of entry permissions now as uh, uh, companions applicants, if you remember. Ah, well, excellent. In that case, heading up to Greymane Manor. Yeah, there's uh, uh, grey grey manes, Benji, not grey beards. You don't want to confuse those two. One yeah, thing. so we're going to head to the grey beards. Yes. Slight detour, I know. Up the throat of the world, we're going to high Hrothgar. <laughs> cool. So the uh, the trip's reasonably short. You uh, don't need to stop to speak to the guards this time. They just wave you on through with a nod. Um, Yes, have a voice duel with Arnulf. That'll go well. Uh, no, no, Arnulf, Arngear. Yes. Uh, and then it's only a little bit of wandering around the Cloud District before you find Battleborn Manor. Um, it's a surprisingly well-signposted area. 
As an elderly man sat out on the porch, eyes you as you approach. Mmm, vagrants. What are you doing? Well, we're just here as a uh, a couple of proud Nords looking to maybe uh, I look around to the, the either side over my shoulders looking to inquire about the old storm cloaks. His eyes narrow. I'll be brooking no imperial spies. Oh no, we're not spies. No, not at all. You're a um, Khajiit. Well, ain't no Nord. What's well, your dad's I mean, name? It, well, it was uh, Bjorn. Nah, Bjorn. It's a, it's a nonsense made up name. <laughs> to the side, Arnold. Ah! Trust me when I say this. Fuck the Legion. What he said. The old man continues to scowl between the two of you. Nah. Easy enough to say. Why are you looking for storm cloaks? Well, we uh we had a run in with the the Legion and feel like it could benefit us all quite greatly if uh we happen to capture a, a prisoner, if you know what I mean. His eyes narrow even more. I'm no traitor, spy. Who's talking about being a traitor? Nobody's a traitor here. We're just talking about a little bit of selling humans. He spits on the ground. I'll give up no information for the likes of you. You've given me not one... (laughs) Ah, consider let us shrimp. You've given me not... It's an always sunny reference. (laughs) Look, if you're trying to solicit a bribe, not only are you doing it incredibly poorly, but no, not doing the full fucking sentence. Um, Things. You've given me not one reason to trust the two of yous. Ah, look, fine. Um, Arnolf, it's my, my companion is trying to get his words out here. Right, no, what's wrong with his mouth? He speaks weird. Yeah, he's, he's had a speech impediment for a, well, all of about an hour now. Yeah. Yeah, considering the situation, I'm just imagining a really badly dubbed martial arts film. <laughs> <laughs> what we're just doing, like, looping through the wind-up shots as Arnolf's mouth gets ready to open, showing the muscles moving in way too much detail. Right, given our run-ins with the Imperial Legion, I can say that I trust that lot about as far as we can spit. The, uh, the elderly man continues to look unimpressed. Uh, you may need to give him something more than just, uh, just words, I'm afraid. Look, <laughs> what can- oh no, oh no, print first. God damn it. Um... Well, it is you can put us in contact with the Stormcloaks, and they're going to want to hear what we've got to say. Look, what can we actually do here to gain some trust here? I hear you've had some issues with the, uh, what are they, the, the, this other big family, the Battleborns. We could go and rough some of them up if you want. He spits on the ground. Yeah, Battleborns, traitors to Skyrim. Huh, you hardly want to go down. <laughs> and the man turned down the best chip of the wall when they win. Uh, he uh, looks at you a little bit curiously. You're telling me you'd attack the Battleborns? I mean, we can, if you point us in the right direction, we could maybe rough them up a bit. I don't mean, I mean, maybe, maybe not kill them, but we could certainly. I don't know, give him a few bruises. Mm. You'd best not be spies, or I'll cut your tongues out. Follow me. He stands up and begins to shuffle inside his, uh, or inside the mansion. We're gonna follow him inside. Cool. The inside of uh, Battleborn Manor 
uh, great battle ball mana, Greybane mana, is uh, musty and old. It nevertheless reeks of old money. You can see weapons adorning the walls, many of them in various states of decay, but some of them surprisingly new, and all of them richly ornamented. Uh, more than a few silver plates and items of cutlery just lying around the place, and uh, a bowl filled with fresh and exotic fruit on uh, one of the nearby tables. The elderly man moves to this table specifically, sits down, and, uh, pulls a nearby flask towards himself, and pours himself a, a cup of a thick red fluid, which smells like wine. Mm. So, you both consider yourselves to be true sons of Skyrim. Well, of course. I mean, look at me. <laughs> Fiercest cat in the north. He uh, narrows his eyes. Mm. Not helping your case. <laughs> I'm Vignar Greymane, the scion of House Greymane. And, uh, the only true son of Skyrim in all of Whiterun at this point, or it feels like that. Yeah, generally I'm fairly neutral, but recent events have forced my hands towards Skyrim's sofa lines. So pipes up Arnulf from behind. Vignar takes a hearty Chug from his cup. <laughs> no, that's it's. I'm I'm doing Arnold's accurate <laughs> voice. This is it's what he sounds like until next week, uh, when he clears his throat. <clears throat> Plus, if nothing else, it helps differentiate him from literally every other Nordic character. <laughs> Yeah, Vignar strokes his beard, takes another chug of the wine, and this continues for a couple of minutes, actually. It's, it's a little bit awkward, he just stands there. Hmm. How far would you be willing to go to prove yourselves? Oh, I mean, reasonably far. You know, we don't really want to go and get killed for for all of it. We might be thrown in, in jail. We've got some reputations to uphold. Why not? Well, well, I mean, we're we're part of the companions now. We're uh, you die I think they for might Skyrim. You'll go straight to Sovngarde. Yeah, but there's dying for Skyrim, and then there's dying for no offense, but a family was just mess. Maybe what if what if we what if we start small? What if we, you know, maybe a little bit of petty GBH or something? Mm. <laughs> Fair petty. All right, here's what I want you to do. Slams his mug down on the table. I want you to burn down Battleborn Manor. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome. Would, might just have to have a, have a think about that one. Mm. That's, uh, maybe... You, you not got anything a little bit smaller? Spitting in this porridge, maybe? You want to prove you're not spies, don't you? And I'll take suggestions, but something needs to be done about those trees and a scum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, if we, if we really want to get those, those damn Imperials out of Skyrim, then something's got to be done. But ah. Your escalation is full on hole burning. You from solitude by any chance? Vignar's eyes, as they have done <laughs> with nearly every interaction, somehow narrow further. I'm not fr yeah, basically, Carl. Basically, just pure squint at this point. Ninety percent squint. Ninety-nine percent. I'm not from solitude. I know capital. Insult for people from the capital. <laughs> Don't drink it. Smooth. Smooth. Capital mink, mink drinker? Yeah, capital mink drinker. It's a disgusting <laughs> drink. <laughs> Grinding animals into slurry. Barbaric. Is that Ollie? There is an Ollie in chat. Yes. Young Brick. Uh, uh -huh. here. Here's the chat of grinding small animals into paste-like drinks and shudders at the thought of these goddamn barbaric upsiders. 
Run, yeah. Frankie, run! Yeah, Yumbrick, Yumbrick pops into existence with a schlorp in, uh, in Greymane Manor during negotiations for criminal enterprise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd explain it, Ollie, but you're down too long a rabbit hole. So. So I'll read the, uh, the highlights and I'll, I'll gather what I can from there, and that will be my canon. Yeah. Burn the manor to the, impress the old man, to join the family, to join the Stormcloaks, to sell the uh, captain who to, paralyzed. to impress the Stormcloaks, to start the siege, to go to Solitude, to get the cart. Also something about giants? <laughs> that's, that's actually a fairly good summary, all told. <laughs> Mate, you were the one who went to hole burning like those dishonorable fucks. Tell you what, we've recently been given a quest for joining the companions. How about we take a sigh on of these battle gods with us and make sure he meets a glorious death? Uh, Benji can't talk this week, so he's getting he's getting the Black Crusade Dio voice uh, for his text prompts. Amazing. Also, thank you, Benji, for that catch up. I still didn't really catch it. That was. Kind I think of we're burning a mana down, and we're currently in a mana. Do you want me to start burning it down? Vignar actually strokes his uh, strokes his beard at that. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Actually, a death in the family might get him to shut the fuck up. His eyes roll over white, and he begins vomiting ectoplasm as he tries to work out which battleborn family member would be most appropriate. Is he a member of that family? No, he's a member of the Grey Mains. They're two uh, now feuding families who are some of the oldest in White Run. Ah, I see. I see. Why don't we set both their houses on fire? That's not really helpful with any of your goals. Yeah, I mean, that's that's more just kind of fucking around like, in the city. Yeah. <laughs> like... A little bit of light arse and never hurt nobody. Didn't right. really help anybody either, though. I'm, I'm probably doing a, uh, a bit of a mischief to the characters here, but... Oh, wait, what is this? Huh. Uh, yeah, probably doing the character a bit of a mischief here, but uh, Vignar looks at you and says, Hey, John Battleborn. <laughs> That's his canon name. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's called. <laughs> John Jeremiah Battleborn. John Elizabeth Beckett Battleborn. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, John Elizabeth Beckett Battleborn. Alfred Battleborn. He spits at the name son. Now, he wants to become a bard, but uh, his parents are hesitant to have him move away from home. If you could maybe convince him to go on your mission and ensure that he doesn't, uh, your quest rather, and ensure that he doesn't come back alive, I'd say that's fair. Works for us. Uh, any idea where we can find him? No, he usually mooches around the square being a good for nothing. Ask them if they could store a prisoner for a while or something. <laughs> <laughs> the prisoner we're trying to sell. I mean, we can't just carry them around for the whole quest. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We've already been carrying them around for like a day and a half and broken something in them. <laughs> yep. Uh, they Execu might now be paralyzed. Executive decision. I don't think we're going to be managing to um, get, sneak the prisoner into the cloud district easily. <laughs> so. do, you, do you know what the worst, the actual worst bit is? I think, if I remember correctly, Jomo actually has shackles in his inventory. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's trying to get the thumbs to use them. I kept them when we took them off. Oh, no, it's Jomo. Okay. Ooh. Exactly. So Thumbs didn't have them. Jomo did. Damn. All right then. Well, all right then. Uh, I guess we'll we'll be heading out to the square then. Um. By the way, um, should this all go uh, go according to plan, um, how uh, how how are you going to get us in touch with the with Stormcloaks? 
His eyes narrow. Prove you're not spies, and then I'll tell you. All right, fine, fine, fine. Uh, I usually fall for that. Nah, what kind of a name is that for a fucking Nord? Uh, for the that very, was from a while back. Yeah, sorry. For the very first time, Vignar uh, unsquints his eyes. I fucking agree. I told you it was shit when he called him that. But we were friends at the time, and only now can I openly criticize what a crap name. Beckett. Do you, do you want me to say that, Benji? It was in speech marks, but it feels OOC. So no response. I'll, I'll take a Y or an N. <laughs> You can say it as we're going out the door, I guess. Oh, I see. All right. Differentiate your shit. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, you're walking out of the door when Arnulf uh, turns to you and just... God, how do I do it in a whisper? Ah, yeah. For one thing, for him one thing else to prove we're not spies, you do keep making him think we're spies. I see you silently crapping yourself, Ollie. Don't you laugh at me? This is a serious character. <sighs> serious character played by a serious GM in a serious setting. I'm a very serious <laughs> GM. We always had an NPC earlier called Thooms. <laughs> ah, yes. Thooms. The Nordic equivalent of Thumbs. I got that. That was not a hard leap to make. <laughs> so, you uh, mooched on out of the Cloud District, all but high-fiving the guards on the way as you go at this point, I suppose. Um, back down to the market stall, uh, market uh, stall areas you were at earlier. Hold on a second. As you go, you, uh, you pass by a particular tree in front of which is stood a man, preaching loudly to all and sundry. Terrible and mighty Talos, we, your unworthy servants, give praise, God, for him. only through <laughs> your grace and benevolence may we truly reach enlightenment and deserve our prayers. You d praise you do, he says, mumbling over his script, for we are one. Ere you ascended, and the eight became nine, you walked amongst us great Talos, not as God, but as man. Can I throw a rocket in? <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of deftly dodges it, uh, and then a mud ball from someone else, or at least you hope it was a mud ball, uh, and then a tomato, uh, which is quite an expensive thing to throw at someone in Skyrim, I suppose. I know, Jesus. Talos the mighty, Talos the unerring, Talos the unassailable. <laughs> Am I in, in, in <clears throat> based on some lore I've read? Is Talos also the giant skin robot thing that, that Dwemer made? Uh, no, though no, no, not. Uh, <sighs> we don't stuff. have time for this shit. <laughs> yeah, you're... yeah, no. Ba basically, no. No is the simple answer. It's not. No is the simple answer. Correct, okay, cool. but there's like three layers of reincarnation. Be prepared for 99 plus Facebook Messenger comments. <laughs> yes. Look, Shezarines are vital to the law and completely not just random bullshit. Um, so, I guess, quick question how would I react to a Talos preacher? You'd have absolutely no context. Uh, he was born, died, and ascended uh, years, uh, eras, in fact, after you disappeared. Okay, cool, good to know. To you we give praise. We are but maggots writhing in the filth of our own crap. Writhing. While you have ascended from the dung of mortality. From the dung of mortality? The dung, random bystander. The dung <laughs> of mortality. I, I, I look at the and guy. I'll work amongst the stars. I look at the guy. Do, do you need a hug? Is everything all right? Talos needs your hugs. His faith wanes. The people abandon him. Yeah, Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, West Country Schwarzenegger. <laughs> if, if, if he's waning, that sounds like he might be sad. It sounds like he does need a hug. Yeah, you, you and Brick, I, I wouldn't touch him. I, I don't think he's washed in several weeks. The, uh, the preacher undulates. Writhing in the filth! Yeah, see what I mean? It'll probably, yeah. give, it'll probably give you something. I do not want to be infested with cockroaches. The what dragonfly else? flies out of his beard, does a little loop, and then back in on the other side of his beard. Yep, not going for a hug anymore. Ascend from the dung of mortality. <laughs> and you <laughs> spin on past. <laughs> Childish chuckle. It's the first time Revere has ever not reacted 100% positively to anything from Skyrim. Yeah, I mean, just because I'm a proud Skyrim Nord doesn't mean that, you know, I still have standards of hygiene and public volume and decency. Yeah, yeah. Then why are you hanging out with us? That's very true. (laughs) We cats bathe daily. Technically, it's our own spit we bathe in, but that's not the point. We're in a whole subquest situation. You might. Over there. Uh, cool. So that is the loudest possible person that, uh, near the market square. But at the polar opposite of it, as far away from the noise pollution as can possibly be, you can see a bard with a uh, a hurdy gurdy busking poorly. I do. Hey, so I think that might be our guy. You uh, you thinking what I'm thinking? Arnold dawdling back with the guy. Ah, mate, you're preaching to the wrong crowd here. Too many milk drinkers. Writhing in the milk. You've messed him up now. Uh, catches up. Uh, who is that you thinking what I'm thinking directed to? Uh, was that to Arnold or Yumbrick or? I mean, it was, it was to both, but I guess if, if Arnold's speaking ten minutes in the past. I'll, I'll, I'll be like, I think I am thinking what you're thinking. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I'm glad we seem to be thinking about what we're thinking. But uh, just for my sanity, what are either of you thinking? Get a big bucket of water. By that I meant what is... Sorry. That is not what I was thinking. Yeah. I I was thinking of going up to the bars and wooing him. (laughs) I'm just thinking about drinking milk. Shut up! And writhing. The proud Nords here. I think. Okay. I mean, in which case, let's replace the bucket of water with a bucket of mud, and we'll pour that over you, and then you start writhing next to him. And I believe you may be able to lure him away. We're not trying to lure the preacher away, Talos. We're trying to lure the bard away. So you uh, you want to you can't have both of them. You want to try be a nightmare and charm the bard. Is that it, uh, Revere? Exactly. Woo him. Okay. What's your what's your attack uh, attack tactic here? Well, first of all, I'd like to just you know tell him he's amazing and dreamy. Cool. So is it just for like theme and response, NPC response? Is it like a, a romantic slash sexual thing, or is it like a oh god adoring oh. fan thing? Oh, it's adoring fan. It's going to be straight up. You there? That's the most incredible music I've ever heard. I'm always brought to tears. Okay. Uh, cool. So in that case, we're it's great and famous member of the companions. You're not a member of the companions yet. He doesn't know that. No, but the companions might get a bit pissy if you wander around proclaiming that you are when you haven't actually passed the entrance exam. I'm not pro- proclaiming it to, to them. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Just to a local scion of an important house. Exactly. What could go wrong? What's the thing? Is it charm? No, it's persuasion, isn't it? Cool. I will take a persuade check over personality at a plus ten. Excellent. Yeah, why not try and sway him about writing an epic for our quest? That's step two. So I've just read uh-huh. 
if, two degrees of success. If you side with the Imperials in the Battle for Whiterun, Heimsker is sent to jail, but he doesn't actually stop preaching. Oh, no, is he just in the prison? He's just in the prison, continuing to writhe. Talk about a captive audience. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not... He's great. Um, yes, that's step three. I wonder if it makes it easier to appear to kill him, though. It's in prison, there's no one really around, so you can just sneak in. <laughs> Why would you kill a glorious priest of Talos? To stop him writhing. We'll get to him. But he's he's not part of our crew at the moment. That should be a funny side quest. Please do not recruit Heimsker. <laughs> recruit Heimsker. Yes. What if we can't we kill him, we'll have him with us. Lydia and Heimsker, we need these. Jeez. And... A Hannibal companion guy. As you're as you're walking up, Arnulf whispers behind you. Ah, why not try and sway him about writing an epic for our quest? Then we throw the brick to a bear as a distraction. And uh, I think that was our character engine. Cool. Uh, what was your DOS on that, Callum? Uh, two. Two, yeah, no. You uh, you walk up and John um, Elizabeth Beckett Battleborn <laughs> continues to sing to fairly li- <laughs> uh, yeah to, to fairly little acclaim from people. The only people passing nearby seem to just be trying to avoid Heimsker more than they're trying to get close to him. <laughs> However, as you walk up and, and listen enraptured for a couple of minutes, or at least visibly so. Uh, and then, uh, listen in rapture for a couple of minutes. He begins to turn to play to you more specifically, and after a couple of songs, with your excitement visibly heightening more and more, he uh, eventually ends and, and gives you a, a deep bow. You launch into a screed about how his music is the best you've ever heard, and uh, he laughs and awkwardly puts a hand on the back of his head. I I don't know about that. Uh, I I definitely like to go to the Bard at College one day, though. Really? Well, you really need to get your name out there. We've uh, we've been to the Bars College, you know, being being famous companions and all. We we get in there all the time. <laughs> this is gonna backfire so badly. I really hope you're trained and deceived. Uh... Well, I'm like kind of like meant to be racially motivated to like as not, isn't my race terrified of the companions or we were in a battle with them or something like that he is uh they i forget what the exact term is race isn't technically correct because that would be like your race is dwemer rather than mer uh, i'm not sure what you call mer as a supergroup though uh mers multi mers uh the plural of mer is also mer but it's the, it's like sheep it's both the plural and the singular but uh um, yeah, multi mer and I, I meant like as a category. It's you usually broadly divide between men, mer, and uh, beast men. But I'm not sure what the like men, mer, beast men categories are individually, like rather than race, because race is a smaller division. If that makes sense. Hmm. Species, subspecies. No, it's not really species, and also what? they don't really have species so much because they don't have evolution. It's a an intelligent design situation. Um. In fact, it's a crowdsourced intelligent design situation, which is worse. Uh, I was going to say, yes. Um, regardless, the companions do like mass murder, or did mass murder elves. That was way back when you were around, and it has been, to be fair, a few eras since then. You did see at least one elf member. Um, yes, Atis came up. Um, I was going to say, because you weren't actually there for his fight, I don't think. But, uh, but yeah, you don't think favorably of them particularly. It's just your friends who seem to be keen on joining up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy that I'm being disguised against my will as a companion. <laughs> it's, uh, fortunately, this look of general annoyance is one worn by quite a few people within audible range of Heimsker, which is damn near everyone. But as he sways and, dare I say it, rides, he uh, deftly moves out of the assorted flung condiments and bits of trash or rubbish thrown <coughs> his way. Uh, Revere, I will take deceive, please, at a plus zero. 
Uh, well, I don't have to Sieve, so this is... Ah, oh, I just realised I've got First Impression as a talent. What's it do? Uh, the character makes a good impression and gains a plus 10 bonus on any personality test when first meeting someone new. I wish I had that. I mean, it probably still counts. You only just met him. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Deceive. Are we still using personality for that? Yeah. So oh. that plus zero. Plus ten. Oh, uh, you got minus ten though. Oh yeah, because you're untrained. So ah, yeah, sh- you're not wrong. shit. You can always spend a luck point to reroll. Let's spend the luck point to reload. Don't get ninety-nine. Oh, ah, no. shit. Talos Lucky numbers. Says ah. No. Talos be damned. This is this is what you get for not riding, or at least uh, making a. God. This is unfortunately three degrees of failure. Is it the sign of the hammer for Talos, I guess? <laughs> to buy the hammer of Talos. Oh dear. Um, cool. Yeah, no. He uh, he looks at the two of you. Nah, I, uh, I don't believe that for a second. Your recruits in that. I know every member of the Companions. I'm, uh, and he gives you uh, another deep bow. My name is John Battleborn. Just John Battleborn, regardless of what you may have heard. No middle names, please. Well, okay, maybe maybe that was a, a little bit of an exaggeration. Um, but we uh, we can maybe help each other out here. We, you know, we're we're looking to go on a on on a quest to <laughs> to join the companions properly. You're looking to get into the Bard College, make your name, uh, uh, make a name of yourself. Maybe we can help each other out. Scratches his chin confusedly. I'm, I'm not really sure what I can do for you, to be honest, nor you for me. Uh, what, what are you suggesting? Well, say we, uh, we're just about to head out to Rorik States. There's a, apparently a, a fearsome bear out there. Quite the, uh, quite the monster, quite the tail-worthy bear. Now, if we go and kill said bear and take you along with us, maybe you could chronicle the uh, the events and turn it into a turn it into a tale, spin a yarn of it. Maybe you know, catch the attention of someone in the in the Bard's College or or somewhere, you know, even um, internationally as well. You know, who knows what what things can happen out here? But you know, I guess you'll just need to come out. With us, and you know, you scratch your back, our back, we'll scratch your back. If you know what I mean. I, I say that's not a bad idea altogether. I'm, I'm not really sure I do know what you mean, though. Uh, to be honest, like, what, what can you do for? Oh no, no, I do. I guess so. I'd write the song, and then hopefully the song would go st- fantasy equivalent of viral. Uh. And then maybe the Bardic College would hear. That's, that's not a half bad plan, actually. And Rorik's dead still within weight run hold, so I don't think the family would know to worry until I was already out of town. Hmm. That's, when are you leaving? Oh, yeah, you know, as soon as possible, really. So, you know, once you're ready, we can uh, get out of there quick, go and kill that bear. <laughs> oh, you know, that's... I think that's a that's a good plan, actually. Right, um, just give me an hour or so. I'll, I'll meet you back here, shall I? I need to rush back home and gather up some things. I, this is so exciting. It's been so long since I've been out of the town, and I, I don't think I've been to Rorikstead since I was a child. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Well, I guess we'll we'll wait around here then. We'll try and uh, maybe not bludgeon Heimskir to death. That, that old preacher over there to death. Why... Oh. I... Yeah, it's it's sad, isn't it? Really, like I, I mean, I I worship Talos as a kid, same as any of us. But treaties is treaties, and we've all got to pull together. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. The the treaties, yep, all all those those um imperial treaties. He claps yep. single hand on your shoulder. Don't worry, my friend. We hold together. Then hopefully, this treaty won't last forever. We may not be allowed to worship Talos now, but give it a few years, maybe a decade, and the Empire will be back on top. Talos will be back on top of the Pantheon, and we'll all cast the Alneri Dominion down together. 
gives you a cheery thumbs up and starts back up towards the cloud district. I put my hands on uh, Revere. Damn it, Revere. I'm an engineer, not a murderer. What do you expect me to be doing? That's good for you, then. You don't need to do the murdering. Good, just just so we're clear. That, that's all I really had. That's all the steam I had in me. I, I don't really want to do the killie. All the steam you had in me. Yeah. That is not something I expected you to go uh, to. Well, because you're a plumber. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm just so naturally funny, I don't even realise when I pun anymore. Yeah. It's not really a pun, Ollie. That's just a vaguely on-point joke. Same difference to me. They're all on-point jokes. All my puns are on-point jokes. Uh, you know, we we couldn't even convince old man. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll let you and say it out loud first. I'm sorry. No, I was reading something someone said in Discord. Uh, what uh, we couldn't convince who? The the bard, I imagine. Oh, God, sorry, Arnulf's thing. Right, now I'm following you. I thought you were referring to a response there. <sighs> okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to be a shame killing that boy. Probably could convince him to join the Stormcloaks given half the chance, but Axe in the skull it is. Ugh. I mean, we we can't really con- convince that old man over there to let us join the Stormcloaks, let alone join someone else on our behalf. I'd hate to see someone join in there when we're getting kicked out. It would be quite funny if you got John Battleborn initiated into the Stormcloaks. Oh, God. But not yourselves. Me whilst, back at Team Khajiit, uh, Chomo, I believe you were running straight for uh, Catclop. And Catclop, what were you doing? Uh, I was waiting uh, for them. Uh, yeah, he, he's maybe a minute, half a minute away from you now. Jomo is not slowing down at all. The giant striding after him isn't at like full sprint, but it's moving at like a lumbering power walk, which is slowly gaining ground on Jomo. Okay, I'll I'll start trotting over. I'm not going to full sprint because I'm being careful of the prisoner in my mouth. Um, but still, at a, a decent speed over to them, so they can mount me and we can all run away. Can I try and calm it again? Uh, sure. Da, da, da. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm going to lock it. I think Double check you my gotta, lucky. You've got to declare your spell rating anyway, so it's an invalid roll. I do. Everything I have is three. I am only three. Yeah. Can you, look, good, you get a plus? Good practices. No, you can't. Well, if you're giving me a free reroll, I'll take it. Three, please. That's a big boy pass. So, uh, focusing your energies, having clambered, I guess, rotated yourself on the back of Jomo, almost hanging half over him, and then yeah. bringing up two, your two little kitty paws, weaving them in arcane patterns and symbols as you... <laughs> all over the back of uh, sort of get tossed up and down all over the back of uh, Jomo you send out what seems like almost a, a yellow bolt of energy it hits the giant oh did they get a saving roll? they must get a saving roll yeah it will be willpower plus zero okay thank you yeah no the, the giant is hit right in the chest and seems to slow just a little. Striding forwards, coming to a lumbering halt, watching you blinking and, and scratching his chin, trying to work out quite what's happening to him. You've, uh, you've got a minute on the clock. You, uh, are, at your full run, reach Cat Clock relatively quickly. What do Jomo? Slow down or not slow down? Um, oh, I so you can try and do that thing where it's like meh, bleh, 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 try and match speed and hop on. Mm. <laughs> that sounds good. And you're going in different directions. Okay, well, I'm going to run past and kind of motion to let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was going to them so they could jump on me, so I think I'd stop just before them, kind of turn around and like get on. 
I mean, that also works. It's just you couldn't match speeds whilst going like this. Yes. Probably pass us the prisoner as well, so hold them. Yeah. And that, that's, that's the thing I want to tell, yeah. It's like, <laughs> take her so I can actually run, yes. Okay, so uh, you belt it towards Cat Clock. Cat Clock comes to a, a halt uh, just a, a little ways in front of you, swivels around, drops the prisoner, still moaning and writhing on the floor. She makes a half-hearted attempt to crawl away, but it's now easily visible that her arm is thoroughly broken. <laughs> Good. What are you gooding at? <laughs> she does it. She's trying to poke my eye out! You're <laughs> keeping her prisoner and were... Like... <laughs> how is she the aggressor here? <sighs> Uh, uh, it's much harder to reach the moral high ground when you have no thumbs. It's not. Uh, it's true. pronounced thumbs. I'm only not putting you in the wanker's corner because you're needed for this next bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jomo, you rush up, scoop up the, the prisoner from the floor, uh, from the ground, uh, and all but pour her over the side of uh, Catclop. Uh, mounting up yourself, and the uh, cinch rises to all four legs in his haunched sitting position. <clears throat> Presumably gets ready to run. Yes. Uh, I'll also spend a, s- a stamina point to sprint, so it doubles my already quadrupled speed. Cool. Where are you going? Uh, it might be an idea just to try and get the fuck away, hide for a bit, see if he fucks off, and then go back. So the rest of the party is still planning on meeting us here. That's true. I'm going to sprint off uh, into the bushes, try to find somewhere good to hide. All right. Uh, I'll take I'll take survival over oh no stealth over perception rather, um, yep. and I'll I'll give you uh, plus twenty for your head start. Over perception. Yeah. Because you're looking for somewhere rapidly before the giant D calms and starts searching for you. Oh, I see. I'm looking somewhere. Okay. I assist. Wait, let me see if I got stuff. Yeah, if you've got it trained, you no, can I don't. assist. Never mind. I have still strained. I don't know if you can see your tiny paw. <laughs> Maybe not. But not from on top of him is the thing. Go on, Yannikas. Roll the dice. Right. Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> What's your dot uh, there, mate? Let's lock that. You can't. You spent the stand. Oh, no, you spent the stand with the sprint. You can. So sprint, yes. Oh, thank God for that. Still fail. Uh, it's one of my lucky numbers, at least. Uh, <laughs> that is something. Not anything relevant. <laughs> but it is a thing. Uh, <laughs> Is 50. Need a 59. So that's going to be 2 degrees? 3, 1 degree? 59. 59, 69. 2 degrees. Yeah, 1 degree. Oh, it's not okay. 79. Oh, yes. You, don't, you only round up for the first degree. So you can never hit 0. 0 always comes out to 1. But otherwise, ah. it's uh, a whole 10. Cool. So yeah, that's 1 degree of failure, that's all. Uh, and I do have. In terms of help, hopefully buffing the invisibility trait, invisible trait, so that uh, test made to track me. Yeah, uh, but this isn't this isn't tracking. This is hiding. Uh, once I've hit, so it will be like, uh, well, no, because that's that's not tracking. That's searching for you. So what's a good example? You know, at the beginning of two towers, uh, where the what's it called Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn are tracking the Uruks. Mm. They can't actually see the Uruks, but they're like following their trail. Mm-hmm. That's what it gives you. It makes that harder okay. to do. It doesn't mean that like if you're hidden in a room, it's difficult. It's more difficult to find you. Okay. So it, it's still pretty useful, just over long distances, not short ones, basically. Um, cool. So one doff. Yeah. No, you bolt for a nearby tree line, uh, or at least a large hedge, I guess. Uh, you're very much aware after you come to a rest that you're exposed. 
the hedge is smaller than you thought, so at least a little bit of you sticks out no matter which way you slice it. And there's actually nothing around you that would allow you to easily run without being seen, at least not from the giant's elevated point of view. But as you look back at the camp, you can see that the giant seems to have lost interest in you. It is instead going through the camp, and in particular, seems to be pulling the rations out of one of the tents and chewing. Uh, yes. It's also generally sort of looting, peeling the weapons and such off of the dead Imperials, that type of thing. After a certain period, you see it turn and call down the uh, down the plane. A low, deep sound, the words completely inaudible to your ears. Kajiku, what do? Uh, stay and watch a little longer. I'm thinking. Yeah, you, maybe um, you dismount see. to get like a bit more stealthy, maybe, as it's hard to hide her. I mean, it's not too hard for the other three. It's basically the bush isn't big enough for. All four of you, including you as a large horse-sized cat, you'll always have a paw or something stuck out. Okay. Uh, you stay in the bush for maybe an hour, and in that time you see much of the rest of the, the little giant family, or I suppose large giant family really, um, rock on up, including their two mammoths, the big one and the child, brought to the, the little uh, outcrop. And they begin setting up tents, putting their belongings down and uh, picking over the uh, assorted leftovers of the Imperial Scouts. The Eldermost Giant, the largest, the one who chased you, has a, an Imperial Sword in one hand, and is just gently picking his teeth with it. Well, I guess this is their camp now. <laughs> and, <laughs> it's like, I wish Catapult existed in this fucking world. <laughs> the spell just... We could, um... Jump us. Try and find somewhere relatively out of sight of the giants to make a camp that was, like, on the way to this camp. So if yeah. the party were heading to the old camp, they're likely to bump into us. My best idea at the moment. Fine. What are <laughs> yeah. they going to do? Sod off to the other side of the hold? <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Uh, so, yeah. so it was about a day's travel from White Run. So feeling uh, when you feel like you you have a moment, you make a, a break for it. Basically, it's not a full on sprint. You don't want to be too loud, but you try and slink away from the bush with the, uh, without being obvious as possible. And then when you've got sufficient distance, break into a low trot. You think the giants looked after you at one point, but they seem more interested in playing around with their new camp than they are with chasing you. Oh, I should probably update the map. Suspecting Look, camp. this is also a pretty good cover-up for the camp we looted. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> got, got away with that one, at least. Scott Freaky. And you cover your tracks, invite giants to dinner. <laughs> Well, giants aren't usually aggressive. Yeah. Uh, usually, they can be. Yeah, it tends to be if you trespass on sacred grounds or if you attack them or their mammoths. Uh, oh, yeah. But it's it's about a, a day or so to walk around, like eight, ten hours of walking. It's not too far, but it's a while. Um, that said, it is also more or less a straight line, so you carry on for a little while and set up camp perhaps an hour or so away from what is now giant encampment. Should we get the prisoner shackled and gagged? Mm-hmm. the thumbs. Maybe just set her arm, though. I'm not a doctor. I'm a cat. It's true. Uh, yeah, do any of you have both thumbs and healing ability? Uh, I have survival trains. I don't think survival counts. I'm pretty sure there's a medicine. There isn't. It's restoration. Yeah, restoration. <laughs> which, yeah. Is, which is the magic school. Yeah, there ain't no normal doctors, Skyrim. Yeah. yeah so I, I, I mean, survival can, you, can you do... So, is, wouldn't survival cover things like splints and stuff like that? Uh, rudimentary. Not like... Yeah. 
heal heal, but oh, like no, the... but her arm's broken, so it would need to be splintered at least, right? Don't know if that's the case. Also, let me have a look at the description of survival and see if that's the thing in the system. Right, what's the legality of slavery? In a, in a in Skyrim, uh, illegal, I believe. Uh, yeah, no, definitely legal. In fact, um, what was I going to say? The only place, well, I suppose, the Empire's fallen, so it might be illegal in a load of places now. But it's still legal in Skyrim. Um, yeah, I'm I'm only a little bit reluctant because you all do try to justify survival for pretty much everything. Um, Fair enough. So, I mean, if it was like more mm-hmm. advanced, if they like a profession as doctor, maybe yeah, but a simple splint. Applying first aid to a character in order to stabilize them. Yeah, you can you can use survival for this. I can walk through uh, the Khajiit with Thunes. How to do it? I'll let you assist him. Yep. <laughs> At best, gonna cancel out my uh, minus ten. I reckon. Mm. Still, it's better. It's, uh... Roll away, Carl. <clears throat> Which uh, stat was it on? Uh, intelligence. Rolling the dice. I believe. Hey, great success. Cool. Yeah. No, she she jolts awake, screaming as you splint her arm. Uh, with a, a snap, and then passes out again pretty much immediately. And then did you say you were shackling and gagging her? I can shackle her, but I, I don't really have anything to act as a gag, I don't believe. Um. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. I mean, I, I have silk rope. Well, that, that's, um, considering the context. Where did you get a silk rope from? Kashyyyk. The like, starting purchase? Uh, Alright, fair. Kashyyyk <laughs> has wares. Yeah. Kashyyyk <laughs> <laughs> had wares. Where's right the car? From one pocket, a thousand handkerchiefs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, if anyone dies, they have to spec up a, a Sufe Rat clown. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, pity laugh from Callum. Uh, it's all you're getting. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. I'm grateful. Cool, yeah, it's it's uh, not too difficult then for you to shackle the passed out Imperial uh, officer and, and bind her. It is worth pointing out, she's still wearing an Imperial officer's uniform, just so you know. Hmm... Does she have like a tunic on underneath it? That's <laughs> slightly less. She does, indeed. So take the armor off. It's any bit that has an imperial symbol on. That's a lot of the armor. Yeah, a lot of the armor. Maybe repurpose it so it's more of like a a mouth harness. When I pick her up, I don't hurt her. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's just let's just take off the armor. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you have anywhere to... Oh, I was going to say, do you have anywhere to store it? I suppose you've got the saddlebags. I can most definitely carry it. <laughs> I hope you're tracking your carry weight, and it is. Oh, uh, yeah, when people give me stuff, I am tracking. All right, what's... Where's armor in the book? Go, armor. So, with what she's been through and the fact that it's been in a cat's mouth for a lot of this, we're going to say that it's uh, poor quality, or, well, sorry, inferior, to use the term, apparently. But she's wearing a set of full Imperial, which I guess is full iron. Ah, oh, she's supposed to be scouting, though, so it should be less than that. Uh, how much does the chest... It's just a small chest that I'm carrying, isn't it? Uh, which chest is this? That we rolled, I believe? Yeah, I think it was like three to five kilograms, something like that. So what's that encumbrance then? Three to five kilograms, something like that. Wait, it it doesn't do kilograms, it just says encumbrance. Uh, Three to five. (laughs) Kilograms, something like that. Uh, (laughs) Put four, okay. Yeah, I think encumbrance just looks like kilograms to me, honestly. Uh, and then other than that, you can add a, a set of uh, 
uh, inferior quality full leather. Full leather. Uh, brackets, imperial officer, I guess. I know she was wearing steel previously, but I didn't think it through. Cool. Okay. But let's check in with Team Nord. Uh, you meet up with John Battleborn without further ado. Uh, he's got a, an honest to God's stick and bindle. <laughs> his hurdy gurdy tied to a strap around his back. He gives you a hearty wave as he, he uh, approaches you, staying back at the market. Assuming there wasn't anything else you wanted to do whilst you were waiting for him. No, that's all there for me. Cool. To so, uh, the other two. Um, oh, Arnulf is weighing in slowly, forming the words. Everyone's eyes roll over white. The entire his market, lips. Entire yeah. marketplace begins vomiting green. And okay, and everyone pops in. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, John Battleborn gives you a wave as he rocks on up. Arnold pipes up. Ah, you've not left the hole without supervision before, have you, lad? That can sound more murdery if you try. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been murdered before, lad? How <laughs> many people have you told about your departure? <laughs> <laughs> Which would you say is weaker, your neck or your belly? <laughs> he, uh... He gives Arnulf a friendly, trusting look. Ah, no, I've, I, I'm afraid I've not. Ah, don't worry. We'll make a man of you, <laughs> yes, on this adventure. Have you ever tried running with a gut wound before? <laughs> cool. John gives you a slightly awkward laugh. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I don't leave weight run that much, I'm afraid. He's actually only around 20 or so. I considered joining up with the Imperial Legion, but with everything that's happened, I, I don't want to politicize the family too much, you know? Really now? Well, let's, let's talk some politics. Um, just as we're, maybe we as we get closer to, to Rovic's set. Really gets me in a fighting mood. Yeah, certainly, certainly. Um, I think it's always very important to have these discussions. It's only by talking through our issues that we can actually, you know, really come to a, a reasonable agreement. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I really see the uh, the point in talking through our issues. And uh, as you begin walking out of the Plains District and, and uh, towards the gates of White Run, Arnold gives you a an almost ominous remark. Ah, time to em time to go emulate the great heroes of the past. So where are you all off to? You were. Uh, you do have an appointment with the Khajiits. <laughs> <laughs> How do we explain this? <laughs> but, uh, He's going to get there and we're going to have a fucking prisoner. <laughs> an imperial prisoner. We've well, stripped her of her, her armour, so you don't know that. Wait, technically yeah, we don't um, need to go all the way to Rorik's set to murder this punk. No, you could just, you could literally bring him up to me. I can just go... <laughs> That's very true. If you pay us. What? <laughs> We're Khajiit. I'll do it myself. Khajiit I... wears... And Wait, no, wears I, I, can't, I can't plan with you lot. Fine. We'll, we'll go to the... We'll go to the, the encampment. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Benji pretty clearly doesn't want to murder the guy. I think he, I think he got out his... <laughs> Random hatred and violence twatting the court wizard. Still not impressed with that. <laughs> First, we'll sit him down for a chat, and then, depending on the results of those rolls. <laughs> Has anyone bought their beating conch with them today? I feel like hitting wizards unsuspectingly. Beating conch? Of all the post. Nope, I'm not engaging. Um, <laughs> so the. Uh, the rest of you begin heading south with uh, with John in tow. He makes for surprisingly merry company for a lot of it, if perhaps a tad awkward. And uh, in the quieter bits, awkwardly positions his stick and bindle, I guess with the stick half shoved down one of his trousers so he doesn't have to carry it so much. Uh, it gives you a bit of a sing-song on the hurdy-gurdy as he goes. 
Toss a coin to your witcher. Toss a coin to your companion. Oh, hole of plenty. I'm a very deeply lyrical person. God damn it, Carl. Uh... It takes you most of the day to head towards the encampment, but perhaps an hour before you get there, encountering nothing more than a few skittish deer along the way, you um, you actually see your Khajiit, though you take them to be a, a saber-tooth at first, until you see the small cat, I guess, casually batting at the eyes of the saber-tooth from the top, uh, atop its head. <laughs> uh... Yes, position just a little way in your path, uh, further along the tundra. Team Khajiit, you see Team Nord at about the same time they see you. What do? Your prisoner has regained consciousness, but she does nothing more than eye you hatefully. I'll just sit near the prisoner, staring at her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she 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 like strange. pouring around a bit of cheese, just far away from her reach. <laughs> Jesus The cat No food for you, prisoner <laughs> uh, Yes What do then uh, Collective teams, gents You're maybe A kilometre, half a kilometre away from each other At the moment So a little ways, but not super far And uh, John Hasn't spotted the Khajiits or their prisoner yet so maybe I could shout really loud and they'd hear me. Uh, across the tundra, yeah, definitely. They wouldn't necessarily hear the words, but they'd, they'd hear, like, the echo of it. Do I know that they're over there? You can see them. Oh, cool, okay, I'm going to shout real loud. Uh, John recoils in... Yeah! Uh, I'm sorry, friend Dunmer, I, I wasn't expecting that. What, who are you, what are you shouting at? <laughs> I uh, I turn to him. Give us a toot on your instrument. I snort at the word instrument, having seen much better and grander examples of actual musical instruments. From the uh, front of the party, Arnold pipes up. Nah, right. To be upfront about it, we're joining with our travelling companions up ahead. We're transporting a prisoner for bounty whilst we travel. Minor detail. God, character. That voice. <laughs> Each time it sounds like you're going to murder him more and more. Uh, John uh, it was halfway through getting his hurdy-gurdy out before putting it back at that. No, John does not have the Dio voice. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I, you know what? That's, that's actually pretty fair. I, I did wonder why we were heading south when Rorik said it's pretty much due west. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's a grand adventure without some detours? Hey, you no, know, that's true. Uh, we'll only be gone a, a week or two, right, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no more, no more. Ah, it'll still be the that's good finest week of your life. It's my mam's 60th in a little <laughs> while, and I was really hoping to, to sing her a song. <laughs> Yep, I I hope that too, John. I really hope that too. <laughs> All right, there's no need to be dismissive about it. I just try to share a little bit of details, you know, get to know each other. It's it's necessary if you want me to really craft a truly good song. So, what are these traveling companions of yours like? <laughs> oh well, you, you know they're uh, they're a Russian uh, cats. <laughs> struggles to find something positive to say about the cats without feeling disgust. They're different. They certainly are difficult to get used to. Somewhat of an oddity. Arnold pipes up from the front again. Aye, and if you think that shout was loud, I'll show you something cool later. <laughs> this knife. Are these shouts enough for us to hear? Uh, you've seen them. Yeah, but I mean, they're particular shouts, because I'm concerned with it carrying over to the giants that aren't too far away. Uh, I think you, you walked north for like an hour, so you're a bit of a waste. Uh, okay. uh, that's right. 
Yeah. I'm sure we were a fair distance away from them. Yeah, yeah Nicholas did specifically say, uh, as I recall, not, he didn't say the hour, that was me, but he said that you wanted to get a bit of a, a distance. Yeah. Um, ah, there's something. You, you will have your computer back next week, won't you, Benji? <laughs> Uh, and I have to do the voice, Benji. You need a distinctive voice. You can't just not have a, a character voice. Who do you think you are? Revere? No, that was me. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Traitor to local accents. <laughs> you, I, I expect this from the rest of them, but you, Callum, I thought... Hey, when, when we get into that, they are fighting words. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh... Cool. So, uh, Team Khajiit, what uh, what did you want to do? They're they're sort of heading towards you at this point. They're maybe like ten twenty minutes out. Just going to kind of wait for them. Um, like say camp wise, is it like literally just us chilling around in a clearing sort of deal, or we got like actual camp stuff? It's just it's chilling up. around. I'm afraid. Like I don't think you're even in a clearing. It's tundra, so you're just on like a flat plain at a spot that you were pretty sure they'd have to pass. In fact, you can see as they walk up, they've got a, a new person with them, uh, carrying a, a strange instrument. He gives you a cheery wave as he gets to within, like, visible distance. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna prepare, like, the equivalent of, uh, you, you know, those, like, um, uh, street sellers where they just put, like, a blanket out with their wares on it? Yeah. I'm just gonna set up something like that. Do you, do you have any wares? I have uh, sets of alchemical ingredients and uh, soul gems. I also have some scales, like for uh, money. <laughs> so, <laughs> some potions as well. Yeah. yeah, I got some potions. So you you set up, and by about the time you're done, you see that he's rushed forwards, eager to meet you. Hello there, oh, my God. friends. I am John Battleborn. Pleasure to meet. Uh, fine. New members of the, or prospective members of the companions. <laughs> I just look at the Nords. What the fuck have you done? Wait, that's an interesting horse you've got. Is that. What the hell? Have you is somehow gone? tamed a. a We're not a joining to companions. The yes, Nords. just don't tell him he has thumbs. He often forgets and gets annoyed if you remind him. I don't think you know that, Yonicholas, uh, Ollie. Uh, that's, that's all meta stuff. Mate. Okay, fair enough. I, I still speak with a, with a disturbing voice, even though it's broken, Khajiit. Uh, well, remember, no one can understand you but the other Khajiits. It's just it's true. It's a strange accent to hear from a horse cat. Uh, it's, it's a flaw I have. It, if you don't want to use it, that's fine by me. I'm just saying. No, you're you're allowed to have the the strange accent. Um, I was just making it clear that like the mer and men and beast man, beast folk uh, don't understand you. Yes, no, hundred. I completely understand that. <laughs> Other than the two beast folk who do. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. ah, says Arnulf as he approaches. This young man will be travelling with us to Rorikstead, and the grest, battle, and glory <laughs> await <laughs> us there. I'm guessing that's supposed to be great. Yeah, there we go. Add into that, why is the prisoner injured? The, the uh... <laughs> what was her name? Jeter's wares? Lorenia... I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Lorenia holds up a single middle finger on her working arm. Uh... This is why we don't trust cats. John looks at you, Jomo. I, I mean, um, I don't know if I need to buy anything particularly, I'm afraid. Do you carry musical instruments? Flute! Sorry, you, I only heard flute there, Carl. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, You're on the path to get a flute. Well, I mean, you'd definitely be interested in, in taking a look at it once you uh, once you get it. It um, he picks up a crist uh, soul crystal and, and turns it over in his hand. I don't think I can play these, I'm afraid. Puts it back down. Ah, can I chance the things that you do? I mean, maybe yourself can, but um, I can't. I don't have anything enchanted on me but me boots. 
And what do these enchanted boots do? I know, that's a very interesting question to ask. <laughs> so they've got a small jump enchantment on them. Uh, I got them for my birthday last year. <laughs> the entire party leans forward. <laughs> John, John in blissful ignorance in the middle. I'm looking backwards and forwards between my two cousin brethren, like, hmm? Hmm? So, um, <laughs> no offence, Mr. Khajiit, sir, but, um, I, I, I was told there was a few of you here, and I, I'm just seeing yourself and, and your, your, I guess, bandit prisoner and, um, and your cat and your, uh, your pet saber tooth there. Although, what do you call him when you file the saber teeth off? He's just, your pet teeth. Cock my head. Thinking what? Tim. Tiny cogs turning in Jobo's brain. <laughs> Call him Doklop. <laughs> Doklop. Oh, that's, him bah. that's an interesting name. Ooh, he roared fierce there, didn't he? God, he must like that name. He agrees with Arnulf. He should be called Catclop. I thought you said his name just, was, was Doklop. Just, he goes by many a moniker. Oh, I, fair enough. I mean, it's the stuff that legends are made of right there. Catclop, that rhymes with a few things. Oh, Catclop, his balls could and drop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking him better already. For he was yes. a cat of the tundra. Stop growling at him. Oh dear, right, okay. No no music around the, the, the teeth. Uh, no, by all means, keep playing. So we've mentioned the snips before, and when you mention uh, the ball drop, well, he understands us, you see. <laughs> Just Does he? sing one claw. I don't know how on earth you managed to teach a, a, a flat-toothed cat Cyrodiilic. Well, fair enough, uh... So where are your other companions, then? <laughs> Just raises a paw. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with your flat tooth. I, um, jump atop Chomo's head, stare at him. Oh, meow. Meow. Oh, hello, who's a good cat? He reaches up to give you a scratch around the ear. Kind of growl at him a little bit, like... <laughs> New cool. person, near master. Seems <laughs> you have interest in the Zanzarim. Oh, that's rather cute. His name's Sir Zanzarim. Oh, he's a little dude in fluffy boots. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got a cat back home myself. I, I like to call him the Jarl. The Jarl doesn't know about that. <laughs> no, he, uh, he he caught me an awful cl uh, clip around the ear a few years ago when he found out, I'll tell you that. But uh, you, you can't take a little bit of a joke, you know? You should mention that. This one convinced the Jarl to get pats on the head by Zanzarim instead of the Jarl patting him! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! He's lacking all context here. I, I, I see. Uh, Turns to Revere as a symbol, a symbol as a, a symbol of stability. So, uh, w when are we off to Rorik's dead then? Well, uh, yeah, just just a minute. I, th I think I'd like to, you know, maybe sit you down for a second, John. Um, <laughs> we've walked quite a while now. Maybe you should, you know, kick off those boots of yours, and uh, we'll have a, a little rest out here before moving on. Ah, uh, no. Lesson one of moving out on the tundra. You always keep your boots on, even when you sleep. That way, if something happens in the night, you're ready to run. Ah, uh, well, shame about that, then. Um, temples. Well, I, 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 we, we were going to talk about politics, if I remember correctly. Um, you, uh, what, what are your thoughts on the old storm cloaks? Not sagely. I, I... I understand where they're coming from, but they're playing right into the hands of the Ulmer. Um, it's, it's a doomed rebellion, put simply. 
best case scenario, they'll get destroyed by the Legion and maybe we'll still be able to put up a fight the next time that the High Elves invade. But, uh, oh, it's, it's a terrible situation when Nord fights Nord. Arnolf's beat me to it is saying something. I think that's all from a while ago. No, no, he's typing. Oh, he's typing now. Everyone's eyes roll over white. Everyone begins vomiting green ectoplasm as Arnolf's conversation buffers. Now, having seen the Legion, I doubt the Legion can beat the Nordic armies. Uh, John gives you a sad smile, Arnolf. Yeah. Remember, though, that the uh, the Legion is Nordic armies. That's that's the worst bit. Nords form the backbone of the Empire. But, uh, little we can do about it now. Yeah. But what about the power of the voice? Ulfric Stormcloak's missing, as far as I know. Oh, I don't know about that. And, uh... We, uh... Didn't we see someone matching his description running, tail between his legs? Oh, I didn't know about that either. But, but you watched and you were chasing after him. I thought he was more of a heroic stride, personally. Heroic Pains backwards between his stride. ankles? No, no. It was, uh, it was uh, a mighty retreat. All snipped. He ain't the only tongue in Skyrim, lad. Uh, winks. Wink. <laughs> That's not at all sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold, the finest tongue in Skyrim. <laughs> to be fair, John is a bard. He would get the reference immediately. Or wannabe bard, at least. I know, uh, I mean, sure, but it's not like the Greybeards are going to lead them into battle. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows about you, Benji. Culturally important, though you might technically be. And uh, that is actually just slightly over time. Which I think means we're probably in a good place to call it. I probably should have called it at the start of the politics talk, but I was having a bit of fun. Well, I was only going to go one of two ways. I don't know, you all seem to be feeling mild twinges of guilt. Uh, cool. Reminders for next session. Boots. <laughs> just in all caps, okay? Oh, I should drink some mana potions. So I them in, but that we own some. Sounds <laughs> in. Uh, I need to, like, give you some mana as well, basically. I can cast some stuff on you. Yeah, and all that. Uh, cool, cool. Just so we got this right, can we put a reminder in there to say... We promised to kill the boy to convince the Grey Mane to join the Stormcloaks to sell the prisoner to... You know what? If you write it for disc in Discord for me, I'll paste it in. <laughs> sure. I don't remember these plots. What do you think I do? Write them? It's one of those, we'll trade this to get that, 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 to get that. <laughs> Uh, Keklop wants the cast spells on Zan Zarim to charge his mana. Uh, cool. Any other reminders? It's by an alchemy set. <laughs> <laughs> the Go sessions over. with. Oh, poor <laughs> Oh, it's annoying because the only sessions that I've missed were the ones that I would have had an opportunity to go to a store to buy it. Rip. It's fine. Like, you're going to Big City Solitude at some point. Uh, apparently at the head of a besieging army, but... To well, get, get the, the alchemy set it. that we already have. You know, we'll never get. Yeah. You can get a car back, I believe in you. Yeah, it's like... Oh. But I left everything that was on it back all the way back in fucking Helgen. <laughs> it's also got miscellaneous treasure. Um, any other high? Uh, any other highlights? What am I talking about? Any other reminders for that session? It's in general. Just, just the whole session in general. Oh yeah, just all of it. 
transcript. Okay, so what I've got here from you is kill the boy to convince the Greymates to get us in touch with the Stormcloaks to sell the captain to join the Stormcloaks to send the Stormcloaks to besiege Solitude to get the cart to get the items. Yes! <laughs> it's so uh, simple! Cool. I mean... <laughs> okay, who's the boy? Uh, I'll put brackets on John Battleborn. When you say to when you say to sell the captain, do you mean the slavery to sell him on the idea of the stormcloaks to sell him into converting to a new group? Uh, and as a uh, a valuable prisoner of war, she, you you captured uh, General Tullius's niece. I s- okay, uh, yeah. T- to get in touch with the stormcloaks, to sell the captain, to join the stormcloaks, send the stormcloaks to besiege. Them. I mean, the only one who actually wants to join the Stormcloaks is uh, is Revere, but Revere wrote the reminder, so... Exactly. Funny if I joined the Stormcloaks. Just going to quietly gaslight you all into joining his extreme political movements. <laughs> but I think it's how I can all my extreme political movements. Slow gaslighting and something and throwing things. I see. Um, Chris, we're the best spies. spies. We just sit there. We're not enrolled or anything. We just listen in and then just walk off. <laughs> Okay. This is the best plan we have somehow. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty cogent and coherent. Like, it's a simple logical progression. This never happens. There we go. I planned out the next four sessions there. <laughs> <laughs> Now we have to derail you as well. God damn it. A lot of that's actually quite simple when you get to it, get down to it. <laughs> Assuming the murder goes smoothly. <laughs> oh, well. The prisoner doesn't escape. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I apparently hope I was. I'll break her legs next. Feedback. Okay. Anything you liked, anything you disliked, anything you'd like to see more of or less of next time. I like the giants. The whole getaway say- sequence. Less giants. Giants are a lot of fun, though. More areas ah. to stealth. <laughs> I like stealth. How much money can we get from all that Yeah, the worst bit is, in, like, any other hold in Skyrim, there's so many places to stealth. Like, Winterhold and the Pale are just snowy ice scapes, and they're really hilly as well. Uh, East March, the Rift, uh, Falkreath, uh, and the Reach are all forested to all hell, and also have, like, crags and rivers and, and mountains all over the place. Hjalmarch is a marsh. Uh, Hafinger is mountains and so many hills. It's really just White Run, which is these long, rolling, open plains. <laughs> you and did it just, just to spite you, Nick. Yes. Mm, I definitely. designed the geography of Skyrim How in Daggerfall just to spite you. Oh, damn it. Uh... Cool, any other feedback? No, fair. Uh, narrative. Is there anything anyone was narratively unsure of in that session? Everyone following the plot. I think so. a long time ago. Yeah. Gets the cart back at all costs. No matter the military and civilian casualties. <laughs> Oblivion came out 14 years ago. Yep. Oh, don't do that to me. I feel old. What? <laughs> I was thinking Skyrim of came out again. 20th anniversary of Morrowind in a few years. Yep, Skyrim came out almost a decade ago. <laughs> yeah, but Skyrim has also come out every year for that decade. That's very true. You could easily be fooled into thinking it's a it's an annual release. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, uh, then I guess the only bit of feedback on my end is I know I was supp- oh narrative thing on my end rather um, is I know I didn't charge you guys your daily food allowance today and I'll try and remember to do it next session cool any other narrative questions they've been fed by the giants (laughs) yeah actually why not (laughs) I'll add that to the reminders Jomo was fed to the giants. <laughs> Wait, what? Fed by the giants. No, sorry, fed by. Fed by the so giants. Very... Oh, I guess I'm rolling a new character then. Okay. <laughs> That's a very important <laughs> distinction. Yes, definitely. That was... <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Um, so actually, Dio just ran into... Like, ran through their encampment, basically, and, and got uh, captured there. 
Uh, Carl's proposed change after we uh, add a little sync and he agreed to take on Dio's narrative place um, was that the giants thought he was cute uh, and captured him as a pet. So that was that was Carl's submission, not mine. Uh, I quite liked it. I thought it was quite good. Now to have that giant turn up like the Tyrannosaurus from Jurassic Park waving a, a cat bell the whole time. Come back! Look what you're sent now. This <laughs> is oh. like Mammoth is tracking you down by scent. Reenact scenes from the big friendly giant, the middle of solitude. One giant with a hundred point stealth potion chasing you down. <laughs> uh, I haven't lost a cat before. I can feel for those giants. I want to go back. Aww. Miss me. Cool. So, XP then. I really could do myself a template. Um, does anyone feel like you made significant plot progression in this episode? Episode? Um, session. <coughs> uh, we got more of our plan in place. Yep. Um, a convoluted plan. <laughs> I, that's actually pretty fair. It's like a few steps, but they are steps that should be quite rapid when you get down to it. Uh, we've got Jomo back. That's not really plot progression. That happened automatically. Wow. Oh, I see um, what you mean. you mean. You rescued him. Yes. I'm following you now. I thought you meant like just Carl joined the session and like... Oh, I like, see. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I like Carl, but I'm not giving you XP just because he's here. <laughs> I demand Carl XP. Yeah. <laughs> Special Carl XP. Oh, Carl's it's presence so demands oh, actually, XP. You know what, all right, I'll give bonus XP because we've not had Carl on webcam in forever. So I'll give you 10 XP for that as well. Remind yeah. me. Uh, cool. Uh, now Callum's convoluted plan's pretty reasonable, though. Uh, <laughs> to join the Stormcloaks by hook or crook. <laughs> character development. Does anyone feel like they developed their characters this session? Yes, incredibly so. I resisted eating the captive. <laughs> Don't know if that's character development. I feel like that's your, your character progression every session is, I resisted eating X. Yeah. I, <laughs> and you did mold them a bit. Yeah. I did, in retaliation to her trying to poke my eye out, though. <laughs> you, you again say this like she's somehow not the victim. So what? I am the victim. She's poking me. I'm just trying to hold her. I'm trying not to hurt her. Yeah. Just trying to hold someone against their will. Yep. I feel like Arnold's voice had a massive the improvement. The of struggling against someone who's trying to hold you against your will. I, I don't <laughs> the know. sheer I, I'm trying I don't to know, without hurting her. I don't know That's if Arnold's thing. voice is, is character development, I'm afraid. Uh, he's developed his new voice. He did, he did. It's Got a true. new voice box. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I think it was like to be a pair. Uh, the bard is uh, following his dreams of joining. Uh... <laughs> you do not get character development XP for the NPC. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though, I will say it's. I think it's probably worth noting, but Revere has escalated from we will not do anything uh, illegal to we will commit murder to join the storm. <laughs> <laughs> Getting really oh, down, the, down the dark path of yeah. extremism. Exactly. No, you like you started. You out fell with real quick. Ulfric is a hero, and we're only doing what we're doing to save Skyrim. <laughs> through to let's lie to and murder this twenty-year-old young patriot. Oh, uh, <laughs> Revere radicalizing in real time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just for that phrasing, I'm upping it from partial to full. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I did misspell your name, though. I think that might be your first... Oh, no, it's your second... Third? Fourth? It's your first character set of character development XP in a while. Ah, you awesome. did get some at the start. But. Uh, cool. Excellence of roleplay. Does anyone feel like anyone else roleplayed particularly well this session? Um, Zanzaria, I think. Uh, shouting and yelling. It was role-played quite well. Uh, oh, I see what you mean. Like, uh, when he was um, spooking the giants. Exactly, yeah. 
Cool. Ooh. Anyone else? Can we count as you playing John? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no developer, no, no, no XP for NPCs, I'm afraid. How about we pretend that you were saying my voice and saying you didn't your hear. voice? I can, I can actually do a pretty good Ollie impression. I heard you do it before. It's shockingly insulting. <laughs> nah, hello, chaps. <laughs> I, I, I think the amount of effort Benji put in, the amount of stuff he's role played written. In chat, I, I think he deserves something. I think that's actually a very good point. He's he's sat there furiously typing away on his phone keyboard. Mm. I call them phone boards nowadays, you know. Cool. Uh, oh, uh, just to rewind slightly, actually, on the feedback front, I've not been, uh, I'm not trying to ignore you, Ollie, with, with comments. Just I think you were missing like so much of the set. Oh no, absolutely, yeah, I know, totally, I know, I know. Cool. Okay. I know. Just just as long as we're clear, like that. Yeah, no, that's fine, man. I, I I came in very late to the session. I was more expecting just to listen, and that's basically what happened. So it's, it's, well, it's apart from nice the talking, I did. Uh, any other uh, roleplay nominations? Clearly, me though. No. <laughs> okay, in that case, uh, and then ten points for Carl on webcam. Uh, ten points, for Gryffindor. Okay. No, I promised the Harry Potter game to the Wednesday group. <laughs> cool, so I make that out to be 170 experience points for session number six. That's 20 points plot progression uh, for Callum's convoluted plan. 20 points character development for Revere radicalizing in real time. That <laughs> was both in the same conversation. We'll kill no innocent people. Except for that guy. Uh... 20 points for excellence of roleplay. That's Zanzarim spooking the giants with just his mental megaphone. Uh, I suppose the paralysis as well, but the mental megaphone got going. Um, and Benji's keyboard warrior RP. Uh, plus 10 points for Carl on webcam. Always a nice treat. Uh, plus your standard 100 general. I, I'm actually going to run off now, guys. I've got some stuff I need to be doing. So I will catch you lovely people later. Have nice ones. Very good. Okay. Uh, sorry, what was that total again? Uh, 170. Thank you, Kindly. Okay. So that mean uh, that brings us to everyone's favorite part of the session. It's the highlights. <laughs> just just because it's gonna take a while to type them out. Benji, do you have any highlights for that session? <laughs> Begin now. <laughs> If you if you just start and we'll delete as applicable when other people say them. <laughs> oh, and okay, uh-huh. yeah, that's fair. No highlights for you is reasonable. Uh, cool. In that case, you, you know we not had first in a while, young Nicholas. Young Nicholas, do you have any highlights for that session? There were a few, but I didn't run them down like I'm an idiot. Um. Uh. <laughs> not to take it from your creed. I'm sorry, but. The, uh, you have upset your ancestors. <laughs> um, I'm still not convinced they understood anything I was saying. <laughs> yeah, it's true, but they still fucking chat themselves. Um, it, uh, it's pronounced Thooms. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm sad that Thooms didn't get more airtime. <laughs> they, pre- they actually get a lot of airtime. <laughs> I, I usually don't like having NPCs, but I'll consider making an exception for Thooms at some point. Oh, I, I do love the, uh, the idea that we've all got our own understudies waiting in the wings. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I feel the same else, but I've forgotten it. Uh, so that'll do for me, I think. Do you want us to circle back to you, or are you done? I'll let you know at the end if there's anything else. All right. Uh, Carl, do you have any highlights for that session? Just John. <laughs> Just John. John entirely. <laughs> what was his name? Is it John Elizabeth Beckett's Battleborn? Ah, why can't I type? Cool. Any other highlights for that session? Thanks. Sorry, I only heard thanks, I'm afraid. That's it, thanks. Ah, fair. Um, 
Cool. Creed, do you have any highlights for that session? Uh, I had um, Jomo, poor needs a giant. <laughs> it's a small happy. Uh, any other highlights? Just heretic voice, Benji. Benji voiced by heretic. <laughs> I do like doing that voice. I'm, I'm maybe not for that length of time, but it's <laughs> fun every every now and then. Mistakes were made. Uh, cool. Any other highlights? Uh, and a kind and reasonable murder target. Kind and reasonable murder target. Cool. Any other highlights? Uh, that's it for me. Okay. Callum, do you have any highlights for that session? Um, I'm going to go with Don't Hug the Preacher. Uh, Fair deuce. Any other highlights? Oh, yeah. Magic boots, you say? <laughs> yes. Magic boots, you say. Any other highlights? Um, the... Enchant the hurdy gurdy. We almost standed up with that. Khajiit wish to enchant the hurdy gurdy. Any other highlights? Um, struggling to think of them, to be honest. That's I fair. think that's it. That's it for me. Okay. Uh, then. Oh, uh, sorry, Nicholas. I was gonna say I remember one. Um, why do you have silk rope? Khajiit has wares. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I can't do I can't do commas. Khajiit has wares then. All right. Khajiit has wares. I am shocked. Uh, cool. So I think the only thing that I'm really seeing missing from this that occurs to me is the constant back and forth of Team Nord who uh, went from the Cloud District down to the Plains District, back up to the Cloud District to go down to the Plains District and then So you... they went to the Cloud District <laughs> often. We, we did! <laughs> <laughs> Team Nord go to the Cloud District I, I love how the Khajiit are just like we're going. And like, they're just like, that, 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 gone. Nor just like going around the circles. On that, on that same note, can we get Paul one out for Nazim? <laughs> Paul one out for Nazim. Oh, and I know it's tooting my own horn, but the, the Bank of Helgen. Oh, the Bank of Helgen. Yes. Oh, dear. Uh, cool. Any final highlights from anyone? Nope. Okay, in that case, thank you all for a lovely session number seven. Uh, we won't be on next week due to reasons of scheduling. Uh, obviously, we've got the week after that as normal. Uh, does anyone have any final words for the recording? Khajiit has words. <laughs> <laughs>